Napakagandang umaga sa ating lahat ng punong-puno ng pagpapala. Ako po ay nagagalap na kayo ay makasama ngayon. Bago tayo mag-umpisa sa ating devotion, manalangin muna tayo. Oh, our gracious Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify you. We magnify your name, O Lord, this morning. Forgive us of our iniquities. Make our hearts ready to hear and apply your words. Thank you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy that are new every morning. Give us attentive ears to listen and to meditate your words for today. May your presence be with us. We ask this in the mighty name of the Father, in the loving name of Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so... Happy Hearts Month to everyone! Alam niyo ba yung kantang Wasted Days and Nights by Freddie Fender? Isa, isa itong country classic song. Basahin ko yung chorus niya. Yung chorus lang muna ang nakot ko. Ang sabi niya dito, Why should I keep loving you when I know that you're not true? And why should I call your name when you're to blame for making me blue? So, ito, tinatanong niya, bakit, bakit ako mag-expend ng nights and days loving you when I know that you're not true? Why should I spend my days and nights in calling you when I know that you are the one making me blue? Hindi po yung, yung blue po is yung, de, uh, ibig sabihin is depressed or sad. Hindi po nakablue ako, eh, depressed and sad na din ako, no? <laughs> Dito. Okay, so let's proceed. Eh. Tayo rin ba? Yung kantang to, pag i, uh, tayo rin ba ay are we keeping or are we loving things also which we know that it's not benefiting us? Tayo rin ba ay we are engaging things or loving things or spending our time to things that we know that is that are not beneficial to us are we spending our days wisely let's read Psalm 90:12 sabi niya dito teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom ito po ay um kasali sa yung buong Psalm 90 kasi is um, isang prayer up uh, sorry prayer ni Moses so it's, a, it's kasali ito sa prayer niya so bakit request ni Moses kay Lord na teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom so means that we need God to reveal to us the bravery of life or the shortness of life o ang kaiklian ng buhay. So, si Lord, uh, we need God to reveal the, yung kaiklian ng buhay natin. Dahil sa revelation na yon, we gain wisdom. That revelation will help us to grow wise. And wisdom is very important in our everyday choice that we make during our short stay on earth. And that will lead to eternal consequences. So, if we read the whole chapter of Psalm 90, it gives details about God's wrath against sin and about the meaning of life or our earthly lives that will not last long. Tandaan po natin that we will not last long on this earth. So, we need wisdom to prepare for eternity. Kailangan natin ang, dahil, dahil hindi tayo maglalaslong dito sa mundong ito, we need wisdom to prepare us for eternity and to be with the Lord forever. Kailangan natin yun, yung wisdom. Ano ba yung wisdom? Bakit wisdom tayo ng wisdom? Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng wisdom? Sa, sa dictionary, sabi niya, it's a good sense of judgment. Uh, hindi po yung basta-basta mag-judges tayo. Ibig sabihin, 
a good sense of judgment. Now, big sabihin is my common sense. Dapat we are spending our days or choosing uh, the things that we are doing, that we are um, doing every day with common sense. Paano tayo mabigyan ng wisdom? Ang Biblia po or um, the Bible is the blueprint of our life. The Bible will teach us how we will live on earth so that uh, the Bible will give us wisdom on how we will live on this earth so that we will that it that we will be prepared for eternity. So yun po, basahin magbasa lang po tayo ng Biblia aside from this morning devotion hindi lang po tayo mag sa ating oh, tama na, hindi na may morning devotion naman mayroon namang 8 o'clock habit mayroon namang Sunday uh, uh, kailangan din natin ng sarili nating pagsisikap o oh, we need uh, our initiative also to read the Bible to have our own so para, para magkaroon tayo ng wisdom itong mga ginagawa lang natin everyday uh, like the, our devotion, our Sundays is a supplementary sa sa ating mga personal devotion or personal communication with the Lord, personal reading sa ating Bible sa sa ating Bible. Tandaan po natin is ang Biblia po ay is blueprint ng ating buhay. Doon po tayo makakagain ng wisdom on how we prepare our life for eternity. Okay, so in the Old Testament, people live hundreds of years. So, the longest man live is, sino? Si Methuselah, which live, um, he lived 969 years. So, if a person live 80 years, ngayon na, short na, na shorten na yung life natin, 80 years na lang. So, sa 80 years, 900. Pagtignan natin is 960 months. Hindi po yung years, a uh, months. So very short yun. Na it's a very uh, it's just like uh, swift, uh, very short talaga yung time na yun to move us to eternity. So yun po ang tandaan natin is to spend our we should uh, are we wise on spending our days. Okay. According to the um, um Guardian.com Isang nurse ang um, nag-record sa mga regrets ng mga dying person sa hospital. So, may linista akong li uh, lima, linista ko yun. So, sabi niya, yung isa, sabi niya, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself. I wish nagpakatotoo na ako, sa, nagpakatotoo ako sa buhay ko. So, yung pangalawa, I wish hindi ako nagpagod na magtrabaho. Ito yung nag-work. Ito na lang yung work, money, work, money. Parang ganun. Wala na siyang time sa kanyang sarili. Wala na siyang time sa devotion. Wala na siyang time sa personal devotion niya. Wala na siyang time sa Sunday. Kasi work, 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 work. Yun ang ginawa niya hanggang pinag naging regret niya sa buhay. Pangatlo naman, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Ito yung mga hindi nila na-express yung feelings nila, hindi nila nasasabi na mahal nila yung asawa nila, hindi nila nasasabi na mahal nila yung mga mahal nila sa buhay, o kaya hindi nila na-express yung feelings nila, minsan ito yung mga nadidepress. Kasi hindi nila na-express yung feelings nila, o kaya kung nasasaktan sila ba, hindi nila nasasabi. So I wish... Yun yung wish niya. So, ito naman, sa, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. It, uh, pang, pang lima, I wish that I had let myself be happier. So lahat, sa, so, lahat sana, ito sana, hindi natin gagawin ito. So, I wish that I had let myself be happier. So, siguro malungkot ang buhay niya. Very serious yung buhay niya. Na sinayang niya yung years 
na sa buhay niya na nagiging, hindi siya naging happy. Which is, pwede naman maging happy, maging joyful. Okay, dinagdag ko naman tong number six. Kasi narinig ko sa, narinig ko lang sa istorya. So, so I wish I know that Lord at a young age and should have done more of His kingdom. Sana nakilala ko na lang si Lord nung at a young age para ako in marami pa akong nagawa sa kanyang kingdom. Brothers and sisters, my friends, it's not too late to count our days aright. Let's start not wasting our time, our days and nights to problems, anger, insecurities, jealousness, stress, complaining, and being a marites. Marites. Ito. Mare, anong latest? Yung mga chismis. So, let's not waste our time to this unnecessary activities that will not um, mold us or prepare us for eternity. Instead, let's glorify the Lord in everything we do. Let's share the love of the Lord. Let's enjoy the life that He has given to us. Ika nga, the shadows are getting longer as we near the sunset of life. So let us do the work that God has assigned us that we might finish the course of life with joy. Sana ma tapos natin tong course ng buhay natin dito sa lupa with joy. And it will be continued in eternity. Okay, so sana wala tayong pagsisisi sa pagdating ng araw. So right now, hindi pa naman late na tayo ay mag-spend ng ating la uh, we will spend our days alright or we will uh, count our days alright manalang tayo Lord you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations before the mountains were born or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting God you turn men back to dust, saying, Return to dust, O sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like day that just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of death. They are like a new grass of the morning. Though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. The length of our days is seventy years or eighty, if we have the strength. Yet their span is but trouble and sorrow for they quickly pass and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as a great of the fear that is due. That is due you. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Amen.